Hello everybody and welcome to episode 2 on Vexed MC. So today, as you can see, I have a different hat on. Instead of Rosie's appreciation, I have cheesecake. Just so you know. Anyway, so today's video is going to be dedicated to the gang system on Vexed MC, since it is quite an intricate system. As you can see again, I'm in the Epic Gang and the Our Gang is level 7. So let's get into this. So if you go into slash G, if you're in a gang already, if you're not, do slash G create. And you can go through the menus when you're not in a gang, but I am in the gang, so I can't do that at the moment. So we'll go to slash G. So this is a very interesting menu. First off, you've got your settings. This requires leader, and I'm not the leader of this gang, so I can't edit any of this. But you've got chat colors. So this is for slash GC in here, or slash gang chat, however you want to do it. If I just type in here, only the members in your gang can see this. And you can also see that I'm a trusted rank in the gang. Uh, our leader will have leader there, and if you just join, you'll have member, that sort of thing. And as you can see, our chat is blue. So if you go to slash G and the settings again, if you change that, then you'll have a different color. Then hang out visitors. So if you go to slash G visit, and then to another gang, let's say Envy, because I know how they have theirs on, then you'll go to their, their hangout which is whatever they want it to be. And they can set the spawn point for it, for their visit. And that's all fine and dandy. So, if we go back into here, that means basically you're just allowing people to come into your uh, hangout, which is easy. And then warp signs, I don't think there are any warp signs in this place, but basically it will be a sign just like this, and it will say warp and then under it just where you want to go. So if you press that, then you'll be able to go to that specific place that the gang leader would have set. But with that setting, if you have that turned off, then only gang members can use those warp signs. If you have it turned on, then uh, anybody that visits your hangout can use it. So next off, we have your gang. So this shows your level and how many coins, stone, wood, and food you have, and it will show how much you need to level up. So I'll go through quickly how you get all these things. So we go back to G. So coins, you'll get them whenever you mine, or harvest wood, or harvest crops. It doesn't matter. Whatever activity you're doing like that, you'll get coins over time, just randomly. Stone is from proper mining. So I'll see if I can get an example of that. So I go to slash mine. Obviously got to do pre time day because this thing is dumb. So let's just have a quick mine. This might take a second, but hopefully we'll get one pretty quickly. So usually, this does take a little bit sometimes, but over time you'll get coins, and even less more often, sorry, even, even less often, you'll get stone. So if I just keep mining here, by the way I have changed my settings on here so that it's a bit easier to see my screen instead of having the chat and all my different things just in the way. So if you want to leave some opinions about that in the comments, go ahead. I'm, I'll change it to whatever you all like. Anyway, it doesn't look like we're going to get any in this little time zone. I don't want it to take too much time in mining. So we'll leave that for now. So over time you will get stone and coins just from mining and you can e you can only get coins 
if you auto mine, which I'll show you in a bit. So just keep that in mind. Next, you have st um, wood, sorry. Wood, you have to mine wood, <laughs> literally. So if we go to slash warp wood, obviously got to do pay time day for this uh, shaders pack. So let's just say I'll grab my axe from in here. You can get a better axe from uh, your tasks, but I'll just use this one for now. So if you mine logs here, over time, again, you'll get coins and wood. I think this one's a bit faster get getting wood, but it's more painful because, especially if you're flying, it does take a while to break them. But an easy way to do this instead of breaking these trees is if you have enough space in your gang hangout, then you can, this is very empty, we haven't uh, fixed this, you can go to your hangout, build an area like this, and put tree saplings on every single block, and it will fill the whole top with just logs, which is very helpful. So now, you obviously have food. So the way to get food is, obviously, from harvesting crops. So let's say I go through these, it will slowly, there you go, it will slowly get me coins and food, which is great. I believe the food is a lot quicker to get. Anyway, so that's that. Next, we have the gang hang hangout spawn point. So if you go to G, and press that, it will go straight to your hangout. But an easy way to do that, as I did before, is just slash GH. I'll take you straight to the same place. Next, we have the gang members. So if you press on this, it will show you your members of your gang. I'm not gonna show you mine because I don't want uh, to release any names if they don't want it. So I'll just go on mine. So you can see what, the, what each person has done for the gang. So today I've mined 98,000 blocks, yesterday I did 100,000, total in gang I've done 759,000, etc, etc. And you can see that. So, I'll just get this back in day. We'll go back to G. So here you have gang prefix. Now for me, or for our gang, ours is just straight up grey, boring, that sort of thing. But for some people, you've got different colours and you've got anything. So Envy, the top gang at the moment, has bold white borders and the bold purple name. So you can get that all, if you go here, with coins. So if you have enough coins, you can easily make your gang look a lot fancier. But for us, it doesn't really matter because we don't care. Oh, that bugged out for a second. Okay, let's go back to G. Gang upgrades. Now this is a great place to go if you have enough, uh, have enough materials, if I can speak. So, max gang members, I believe you're able to get up to about 15 gang members which is pretty insane, but you have to level it up a lot. As you can see, to level up to getting six people, we need 4,000 coins, 3,600 stone, 3,200 wood, and 2,800 food. So that would take a lot of time. So you only do this if you really need more members in your game. Then you've got extra keys chance. So again, it's 2,000 for all of them. And if you level up, you'll get another 10% chance to get more keys. And then with this one, you'll get plus two keys every time you get a lucky, which I showed in the last video, instead of plus one with the first level. Okay, next we have hangout warps. So you can set these by, as you, as you can see here, slash G set warp, warp name. And if you do that and go to slash G, 
that will show your warps and you can also use them with those signs that I showed you earlier. Now, gang tasks. Now this is an essential part of gangs. So you go into here, every day you get two free tasks. They can be any rarity, they can be easy, medium, hard or insane. And those will get you more or less task points depending on the rarity or the level. So with task points, we have 107 right now. So if we go into here, you can buy more task scrolls. They're not really worth it, so I would suggest not doing it. Or you could buy axes. Now these are good because if you don't want to use simple axes like these, then you can easily get much better ones. I'm going to turn on one for a second for pretty cheaply. But another thing you can use the points for is where was it? Do, 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 do. Oh, I forgot where it was now. That's a shame. Do, 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 do. No, no. Oh, gang upgrades, that's it. So in here, auto replant saplings. So with the harvesting crops, as you can see, if I break them, they automatically plant again, even without having anything in your inventory. Which is great. But with saplings, you have to replant them every single time, and it gets very annoying. So with that, it'll be very helpful just to be able to mine all the wood, and you're done. Okay. Next, so your personal gang vaults. These are for each person, so my vault will be different to everybody else's. So in here, it's basically like another chest. So you have extra space to store things if you don't want to store them in just chests around your gang. So, next, you have rank permissions. So this just shows uh, what, uh, what uh, rank you need to be able to edit different things. So at the moment, this is mostly set to leader, and that's fine because that would make sense. And you can change that if you're leader, of course, to whatever you need. Now for the gang warehouse. So this is a storage area for whatever you need, and it's not just a personal one. It's a whole thing for the whole gang. So let's go back to here. And the auto miner. This is what I was going to show in the last thing. And it's too dark. Let me just quickly turn off my shaders so we can actually see what this looks like. So, this is the mine that you'll mine from. So, see, you can just mine this like a normal mine. And there you go, that is the thing that I was trying to get. So, I got one coin, two stone, zero wood, and zero food. So you'll get that over time while mining. And in certain tasks, you'll need to mine in Hangout, like mine blocks in Hangout. And if it takes too long, just auto mining, then you can always mine in here, and it'll be a lot faster. Now, to be able to get into the auto miner, you can go over to here and press on the auto miner, or you can always, if I leave it now, you can go slash miner, join and from anywhere in the server you can go straight to here and you can also go slash minor leave so it'll go straight out okay and finally of course your statistics so in here you can see everything that your gang has done so you can see all our coins stone wood and food that we've gotten over the whole gang and over all time, even if you spent them, then you get crops harvested, logs chopped, and blocks mined, along with tasks completed. So, that's the basics of gangs. And if anybody has any questions, just make sure to leave them in the comments down below, and I'll make sure to respond and help you out. 
And before I end this, if I go to my 10th PV, so this is all my hats at the moment. So, if you want me to use a certain hat in the next video, or head, I've got the rose, or the poppy as it's called. I've got four different cakes, valentine cake, carrot cake, birthday cake grey, or birthday cake black. Then we've got the one I was using in the last video, and a cactus, along with cheesecake. So if you want to choose what hat I wear in the next video, as a little bit of fun, then just let me know in the comments down below, and I will wear it. Anyway, if you enjoyed, make sure to smash that like button, and subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next one.